Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Modern Minecraft. It has been a long while since I've said those words and it kind of feels good to say them again, but I want to just explain a little bit what kind of happened. So I started a bakery job at the beginning of June and I am no longer in said bakery job because the management for that job was very, very poor and I just didn't want to deal with all of that. So I kind of decided to not do it. And I had the opportunity of possibly getting, or I have, I should say, the opportunity of possibly getting another job as a baker in a couple of months. And I'm looking forward to that. I hope it's not going to be as stressful as this one because the owner is much, much nicer. So uh, that is what is currently happening. So in August, I will be taking a bit of vacation time and also a little bit of weekends in July are kind of busy, so I won't be able to record as much. But I'm going to try and record as much as I possibly can while uh, still having a proper normal life and possibly even getting a part-time job doing something else could be nice to just earn a little bit of monies. So let's begin with compact claustrophobia right now. This is a pack where everything is based around getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger compact machines. So we begin in a small place with bedrock and a tiny compact machine where everything is going to start. So let's open up our quest book and in here we have stuck in a hole. Oh no, you've been trapped. Here, take this handy personal shrink device and click it on the block in the floor. That should get you going. P.S. You can pick up the device every three minutes from here just in case you ever lose it. If you got any friends, check out Team Island. Okay, we'll check mark this. We'll claim another personal shrinking device. A place of friendliness. Join the Discord. Sure, I will claim the reward. And that probably just opens up a thing. Yeah, okay. You get a Discord link. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> right. So do I have... I don't have quests set on Y. We'll get that set up in a moment. But the beginning. In case you wonder why you have an iPhone Y in your inventory, just right-click it on the strange block at the bottom of the dark room and tiny room. Okay, so right-click. And we're in our 3x3 compact machine. The beginning. Right. So, in the beginning, we need to hit the walls with left-click to let out our frustration and perhaps get out some of the things that's been hiding in the cracks. So we will left-click. And that should be four dirt dusts that we need. Aha. All right. And then we need one piece of dirt, which is created like so. Wonderful. Yay. Okay. So, oh, the quest like auto complete, which is lovely. Okay. So we can right click uh, to sneak and get poop. But firstly, I think we just right click this, get ourselves some seeds. And we can then just break the dirt, place it back again, right click some more. And we should be able to get ourselves some resources. Oh, and the, yeah, there it goes. Bonsai oak. Plant it. Homegrown wood. Right, so quest. You get things for quest. If you sneak around on top, hold shift and walk on crops. By the way, these delicate bonsai saplings need prepared dirt for them to grow. Yeah, okay. So they just need fertilized dirt. So I think right now, we're just gonna left click a bit on the walls for the time being. Uh, actually, no, uh, we can get ourselves a wooden pickaxe if we just grow this bonsai and then we can use the pickaxe to click on the walls to get different things, better things. Also, I think you use a shovel to get these dirt dusts. So I'll just grow some wood and we can continue from there. We got our first poops and the poops unlocks a quest. Eat poop and don't die. Poop is not very tasty. You poop when you sneak around. If you have a weak pinky, check out the auto sneak and sprint forge mod. Ooh, okay. Right, so we get poop. Uh, if the taste gets stale in your palate, try adding a hint of wheat and use it as fuel. Yeah, okay, that's poop fuel. Uh, and what else? Another quest? Okay, so that... Luckily, it's quite easy to make another. Yes, you can also delete them after doing this. No reason to keep them all around. Oh, there's also a keybind for checking out the book. Okay, yeah, yeah, right, gotcha. So let's eat the poop. Because, you know, uh, we can eat the poop. I think we get some nausea, night vision, but we do get a bunch of saturation, though which is kind of nice, so we can eat poop and do not die. And our bonsai has almost grown a second time, and what you get, you get these bonsai oak cuttings, which you turn into oak planks. And that, we're gonna turn into a crafting table. And do we want a crafting station? Do we have a crafting table on a stick in this pack? We do not. So we're gonna turn it into a crafting station. Cool. cool. Wood is completed. 
And then we need a shovel, a pickaxe, and also hammer later on. But we're gonna do a shovel right now, because that's the easiest. So we can do some sticks. And like that. And we're just gonna get two shovels. And then you can left click with the shovel. And no longer get hurt to get murdered. Which is lovely. If we now make ourselves a pickaxe, now that we have a tiny bit more wood, I am actually just gonna make two of them because it's gonna be easiest and we can then actually make another set of two shovels. And it's really easy here to just sit and hold down left click onto the walls and you sneak while you do it. So with the soft pickaxe, we're gonna get ourselves some cobblestone, I be believe. There we go. So we can now actually make ourselves stone tools. We can also get granite diorite and andesite now. And we can make a furnace as well, so we can use the poop and the wheat that we're getting as fuel. And I still haven't had to use our steak uh, to eat it. So right now, we're just gonna be collecting more resources. The next step is to make some coarse dirt. And we can scavenge this kind of like you do regular dirt. And you get a chance at getting some other resources. There we go, we got beetroot seeds. We can also get ourselves some sugarcane seeds, which is the only thing that we need next. So hopefully, yes, we got it. Lovely. And you can also get the pebbles, but that is unnecessary at this moment. And we can now make ourselves a furnace. And we can also make ourselves a stone pickaxe, which we need some sticks for. So let's just get a couple of those going. Like that. And I think I need to disable mouse tweaks for the, the weird spreading of things and with this we can now get ourselves some other resources and if we look at scavenge actually if we look at dirt right uses we can find scavenge and scavenge here we can find ourselves we can get what puffer fish out of redstone okay um but we can get with a wooden pickaxe out of a compact machine wall uh where's the stone pickaxe there it is we can get iron grit lead copper nickel Pin. And that's it pretty much. So I'm gonna be using a couple of stone picks here and also a couple of furnaces to get ourselves a bunch of iron And I'm gonna combine our poop with the wheat get poop fuel and that is also gonna complete another quest here I think burn the rest. Yep uh, So from a chubby pick we can make a strong box and we can use that strong box to turn it into apparently upgrades Okay and we can get a watering can and then the puffer fish and the rest some luck. Okay, so I'm gonna grow some beetroot as well and also possibly just make a bunch of this stuff over here. I also have some industrial hemp fiber here that we can turn directly into string and we can turn that directly into a mesh so we can use it in a sieve and we can then get apparently sulfur from this. Also, we can make ourselves a wooden hammer just while we're on the questing part here. So we can get that going. Boom, boom. I really hate that mouse tweaks thing. Also, probably a good thing would be a chest or a crate. We have we have these crates, so a chest will do for the time being. Uh, do we can we make like a barrel? Ah, uh, that's also treated wood. Okay, chest. Chest it is. Like that, and we're just gonna put it. If we put it here, we can't open it. Yeah. So we're gonna put it possibly in the middle or maybe just in the floor should be fine uh, Right Chest go Okay, so I can get rid of some things that we don't need at the bonsai trees for example All of that and I'm just gonna go grab a bunch more resources out of the walls And of course the apartment below that has been in renovation for the past couple of months decides to renovate today when it's my first day back Recording so hopefully I can still get recording clips out without many many noises in the background from drilling or anything So let's just continue <laughs> As you can see in my inventory I have smelted a whole bunch of iron some copper some nickel some tin and some lead Which is gonna help us in the future and for the moment I think we're gonna make a secondary chest just because I don't have much space in here So we have this now uh, and we can actually toss all of our seeds all of our wheat and we can start working on some other things and the first thing is going to be a wooden crucible and I forget what we can toss in here uh, Does it say moisture from somewhere? I think you can do the saplings 
or the seeds maybe yeah you can do the seeds cool so we can get ourselves some water and i think i'm actually just gonna make a second one just so i don't have to wait as long and we're just gonna get ourselves a couple of buckets uh we're gonna get ourselves one regular bucket as well just so we can harvest the water and then set up an infinite water source at some point uh and you know what we're gonna make three buckets totally right so two of them are gonna just go into a chest and one i'm gonna keep for the time being and we can move it around as we need to All right so the next thing we also need is old tubby we need a wooden barrel so let's get a couple of those barrel shouldn't be too difficult bam bam i have some slabs on me as well and we can just toss these guys down so we can make ourselves some clay and we need to get ourselves some sand from gravel so let's get a bunch of this down or a little bit at least and we can get ourselves some sand and then also get ourselves dust to complete this quest and we need to get ourselves a glass pane so that means we're gonna need six of uh six sand pieces so let's get one two three four five more right like that and then we're just gonna turn stack of sticks in here and we can have this as our small smelting operation place and the water is going to take its time so we're just going to wait for that to finish and what we can actually do is we can take our crafting station put it right here and that should put the chest on the side so we can actually toss a lot of this stuff inside of the chest and not worry about it cool so i'm gonna make a couple of sticks and with that we're gonna make a couple of iron pickaxes because that is the next step in resource gathering we can left click to get ourselves uranium gold silver and redstone i believe is the few things that we get yeah so we can use that to get ourselves a bunch more resources uh and here it's said to make a strong box that's tin and chests right so that shouldn't be too much of an issue chest tin because I don't know what this does. Uh, none of the weak wood here. This box is stronger than any and can become even stronger and magical. Oh, right. Yeah, you can upgrade it with a hardened upgrade kit. You can make Invar. Can we make Invar blend by just using Iron Grit and Nickel Grit? Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's neat. Right, so we can get a cool uh, bigger chest instead of using a regular chest. Okay, that's neat. Because this is super small right now. But I'm going to work on the upgrades. Right, okay. That's going to be cool. So let's get this converted into a glass pane and toss it in our small box. This is going to be like our completed items. So that is one part for the small compactor that we need to get ourselves infinite tiny compact machines. And aluminum is gotten by sifting sand. Okay, so we are not there yet, but we can do, we can do, we can do a sieve though. So let's get uh, that going. Sieve. Boom. Um... I mean, we could do nine sieves and put them on the floor and then do nine meshes. But for the time being, we're just going to make one just for that. And then we can also get ourselves a mesh. Boom. Did the mesh detect? It didn't. Oh, it did. All right. Cool. Uh, and we need to get sulfur and bone meal. Sulfur smells like X. Everyone likes that. You'll also get some bone meal along the way. Useful, but not as cool. And we can turn that into yellow dye. Okay. I assume we need that for something in, in this sense here. Uh, right, so we need to get ourselves a crescent hammer next, which is some iron and some tin. Uh, that is not an issue. Crescent hammer. Boom. Uh, like that. And we can also get a morphing tool, which is rose red, lapis, and cactus green. Oh, that's yellow and lapis. Lapis is gotten by sifting, I think. Yeah. All right, so that's a whole bunch more work later. We can also make ourselves a watering can now. Yeah, that could be cool watering uh, can that also increases in terms of water so we can now do bam bam and do we wanna yeah we need to make you know what let's make at least two more buckets of water just so we can use these right away and we can turn this one into clay uh and that should turn into some bricks if we break it and then toss it in our smelter cool what next uranium block uh i don't think i'm gonna get into the whole sequential automator and caches and hard hammering and stuff like that just yet i think i want to just rush to tiny infinite tiny rooms as fast as possible 
and then make just a bunch of these and put them like in a wall here and then put different contraptions into little tiny 3x3 rooms because getting to the higher compact machines uh, is going to take a whole bunch of time because this one is just some wood compact machine walls and machine casing and the machine casing is modularium and modularium is the real grind that you need it's uranium grit and iron grit so as soon as we can automate the creation of uh, iron which we can automate fully I think in a 3x3 room it should be doable uh, and uh, as soon as we get that we can get infinite modularium and that's going to make crafting these compact machines much much easier because basically the basis of it is modularium which is automation of uranium and iron and redstone so as soon as we can get that the sooner we can get ourselves maximum compact machines which are going to be really cool Okay, so that's just weird. Okay, I'm not going to look at it. It's going to get me too overwhelmed. All right, we have the bricks done here. Cool. So the next thing I think is just to use the iron pickaxe on the wall a whole bunch so we can get a whole bunch of uh, uranium, redstone, and then we also need to use the stone, or actually, yeah, the stone one to get more iron, I believe. So a bunch of grindingness needs to happen for resources. We might as well finish some quests while we wait for resources to get smelted up and stuff. So I'm going to complete the iron hammer and it says here that some tools have the abilities to mine a lot of stuff at the same time. Simply sneak while using these special tools. So it doesn't do anything there, but it could be like it's a 3x3 three three or something. I don't know, uh, but I did smelt up a little bit of silver here, so we have that going for us now. And I smelted only enough uranium to get ourselves a block of uranium, which we're going to toss in here. Uh, and that completed this quest, where we can take ourselves a Geiger counter or a rat away. Uh, at least, oh, choice reward hazmat suit or slow act in rat away or hazmat suit boost. Uh, let's take the boots, sure, and we get a rat away, a Geiger counter, and some hazmat suit. Sure thing. We have boots. Lovely. Uh, so that's cool. We can toss that probably just in here. We need to have it on us. Well, we could have it on us right now. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we have a bit more water here. So I think it's time that we make ourselves an iron axe. Uh, and also let's make a pickaxe. Why not? Uh, I think we're going to get better tools at some point anyway. But let's get that going. That going. This going. There we go. So we can take this out and we can get ourselves a full blown infinite water source. Nice. And we can then use these barrels to make more clay that I think we're going to need in the future. But that can wait. So let's figure out what we actually need to do next. So the auto clicker requires decaying growth, which is a decay generator. So that's four lead ingots, four cobblestone, and a piece of redstone. Doable. Cobble. That, that. DK. Boom, boom, done. Right? Cool. And the auto clicker. Ah, there we go. Decaying growth is complete. So the auto clicker is, I believe, just redstone machine casing, which is modularium. And that is uranium grit and iron grit. So I have two stacks of that and two stacks of that. And we have a bunch of redstone here. Okay. So we can get ourselves some modularium blend did I not grab like a bunch of stuff well I guess we have 35 now okay so let's toss um, 16 in here to get cooked up and toss another half stack of sticks and this in here well we'll just do that so it all gets cooked up cool and that will get us an auto clicker once we have four of these we can grab ourselves a little bit of andesite. Uh, actually, let's do just seven diorite and the redstone we should have on us for the time being. That should be all we need. Yep. So let's just get two modularium, two modularium, and we can then turn that into a machine casing is a redstone block. Done and done. Boom, 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 machine casing, and then that and that and gets a redstone in the middle Auto we'll save the machine casing because we don't need it right now cool we can claim that nice we're just going to toss these in here for the time being 
I decided to prepare all the things that we need for our crafting session and we're just gonna get into it and try and craft all of the things that we need here. So first things first, stone brick slabs, and then we need ourselves some bricks. So we're gonna do three of those and we're gonna save the rest. And then we need a bunch of hoppers here for this. I think I counted four to be the total that we need. So we're gonna get those. And then we're gonna turn one of these into an upper like that. And then we need the machine controller, which requires the copper solenoids. So let's get controller here, copper solenoids. And the rest we should have if we make ourselves some redstone blocks here. So, uh, and yeah, we're missing the redstone coil. Boom, boom. And I think we need another set of machine casings. Uh, and then let's do add module, modular machines. So we need, I believe, a tiny item input, tiny item output, and tiny energy input, right? So tiny energy input is two redstone repeaters, for which we need six. Here we go. Four of those. We need more stone that I didn't craft. Oh, we have a little bit. Not enough. Crapola. Stone acquired. And we can get ourselves the repeaters and the rest we should have tiny energy input and then we need a tiny item input which is just a hopper and a chest so we can get I think another couple chests here boom and boom and we're gonna do a tiny input and a tiny output for which we need another one of these Nice. And what else? Is that everything? That's everything. We have completed small compactor. But at what cost? These handy tools can be nice when you need to know the cost of mass production, which you will need to know. If you have one equipped, you can also shift right click to change mode. Awesome. So those are just stone and some dyes. Okay, we'll get there in a moment. But the next one is to get compact machine walls. So we need to assemble the small compactor for which we need a two by uh, a two, two by two by three space. So let me clear out some room here and we can actually assemble it. All right, let's assemble this on camera here. So the tiny item output, the tiny item input and the energy input go like this, I believe, right? So then we need ourselves the bricks and the hoppers and I keep looking at the wrong spot. So the hoppers go in and into these two. So we can put them in the upper here like that. And then the hopper here like that. And then on the back here, we need the brick right behind this guy. So we need bam, bam, and then a glass pane here. And then the slabs on top like so and like so. And then another brick here. So if we right click this guy, it says blueprint found, structure found, small clump small compactor missing input item and probably missing power. So for the power, we're going to need to move the chest here. So I'm going to grab this and we apparently got a quest complete of some sort. And I'm going to sort this chest out. We're going to move it over to the side as soon as I can grab it. There we go. We're going to put it here and we can then toss everything back inside. So we can just clear out an inventory a little bit and grab that. Awesome. So for this, it said we need our decay generator at full power, which I assume we have space enough for just one uranium block. So I have that right here. I assume that is going to be, I assume we just need full power, uh, like full power charged up here, I guess, because the decay generator, I know it produces more power, with the more blocks you have around it, but I don't think we have space to do anything other than this. Plus it requires you to only make one uranium block, so that should be fine. So this requires just four modularium to make one compact machine wall. So it's 16 to make one compact machine. So assume this is at full charge. I'm gonna put the input items in our input item slot. And we're gonna see, oh, progress. This is full on power. This is doing its thing. We got compact machine walls. Nice, awesome. So we're just going to wait on four of those to complete and then we can craft ourselves a compact machine. If we grab ourselves a crafting station, we're going to need a bit of wood. And I believe it's just cobblestone. Uh, 
tiny compact machine. Uh, no, it's compact machine walls, wood, and machine casing. We have one of those. Boom. Are you done? Not enough energy. Why not enough energy? Why are you, why are you struggling? Okay, we're gonna remove that. Gonna wait for this to, for this to charge up. Why are you draining so much power? We're not getting enough power, I should say. Hmm. Why is this a problem now? Yeah, not enough energy. Let's remove this. Place it back. Missing structure. Missing input item. Are you getting in power now? You're getting power now. Okay, we're gonna wait again and see if we can craft the rest of the compact machine walls and then make the compact machine. And here we go. We have four machine walls and we can then turn that into a tiny compact machine. Nice. Do please tell me we get like a reward of a tiny compact machine. We do not. Okay, so pick your frequency. Aluminum pick is not the only one. Some picks are more attuned to certain material frequencies or anything more precise extraction. Ooh. Oh, so if you make a pickaxe out of the material, you can probably get that same material. And then thermo it's possible to fit 12 thermoelectric generators into a single tiny machine. If you place flux ducts in the center, water and uranium in all corners and thermoelectric generators along the edges, you should be golden. Awesome. So that's for the power. And then corrupt PSD is a glitched personal shrinking device. Interesting. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But we got room to breathe. And then that's the picture frequency thing. Okay. We still need to make calculators. We made a hopper and we can get an extra hopper for that. Awesome. But I think we have here infinite tiny space. Yeah. Sawmill, very handy machine, yields twice the planks for your bonsai wood and it's a great way to make sawdust. Okay, cool. And uh, we can continue probably from here. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can just try something. I'm gonna go here. Right, so we can leave this place and we end up on this slot, right? So what we can do is we can put a tiny compact machine right up here and we can get inside and we can easily have more machines set up or we can set up, uh, yeah, we can set up another like automatic resource gathering station in here probably and that should get us golden and get us a bunch of resources. But I think I might just grind up couple more tiny compact machines by hand. I think that m sounds like a good idea. Maybe not. Depends. Oh, we're stuck. Um, right. <laughs> what we need to do probably get rid of these and then set our entry point like right here. Uh, and then we can replace the upper and the hopper. Cool. But I think all of that is going to have to wait until next episode where we're going to go into the other compact machine and do more amazing things as we can. I think I'm gonna, in between episodes, possibly do a little bit of the grind of getting another tiny compact machine at least, or maybe just prepare a bunch of resources that we need for the next episode. So with that, I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and you can also subscribe if you wanna see new videos. You can support me on Patreon as well if you want down below. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.